Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to how to use the sum if function in Excel. You need to use this formula when you want to sum the values of a range of cells according to a specific condition. When you start typing this formula, you'll see that the third argument is between brackets. This means that this argument is option, uh, optional. And uh, when, when do you need to use it? You need to use it when the range of the sum is different of the range of the criteria. And I will show you that on my second example. But let's start with the basics. Let's say you work for a company that has different stores. And you want to know how much is the total positive profit and how much is the total negative uh, profit for this company. Let's get started with the positive. I'll type equal sign, sum if, open, par open parenthesis. And we're analyzing the profit. So it's the column B type comma and the criteria we're analyzing the positive so for those who are we're summing the values who are higher than zero close in parentheses and they'll do the same thing for the negative so sum if range is column b and in this case is lower than zero and there we go we have our numbers over here now let's move to the more complex scenario Let's say we uh, work for a company that has like different sellers, of, of course, uh, men and women, and each of them has their item sold number. And you want to know how many items were sold by the men and how many items were sold by the women. To that, we are using the second scenario that I told you. The sum range is different than the range of the criteria. Let's start with the men. Sum if range that's the range of the criteria so first we're selecting just the men so I'll select in this case it's the b column uh, this the gender of the seller type comma and in this case we're just we analyze just the men and now the range of the sum when this condition is satisfied will be the item sold so it's column c i'll select the column c Close parentheses, hit enter. I'll do the same for the female. And some ranges. And there you go. Now you have our numbers. Uh, let's just put this formula here. So we have the total. And that's how you use the sum if function. If this video was helpful for you, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. This really helps the channel. Send this video to your friends and I will see you in the next video.